Welcome back. Today I'm downtown. I decided to stop in after uh, after my dentist appointment since I was heading home and I was on the north end of town. I figured I'd stop by downtown. I'm not sure where the train's going because the old power plant right here, if you can see those smokestacks right there, is decommissioned and they're actually tearing it down. So there is another power plant on the a few miles outside of the south end of town so maybe that's where it's going but that's full of coal so i'm down here downtown america the beautiful park is right here and i used a few different lenses today actually i think two different lenses today the 28 to 135 and then an older sigma 17 to 35 so i think i got three maybe four decent shots the lighting's terrible from being so overcast but i think i got three or four different decent compositions maybe uh they'll be better with a better lighting maybe we'll have to revisit that but just figure i'd stop in on my way back home so i guess on to the important part here's a couple photos from a cheap full frame setup first up here we got a shot looking straight into the park you got the two monuments that kind of look like the washington monument and then in the back you'll see that round monument that is a rotating water fountain and just above that to the right at about 12 30 to the rotating water fountain that's pike's peak so initially i wasn't crazy about this photo because the road here is not parallel to the two monuments so i couldn't get this shot parallel the way I wanted to but I like this better I think it adds more character with the road kind of being slightly diagonal here and here from a, a higher vantage point you'll see you see how the road down there on the bottom is diagonal to those two monuments this shot JPEG they're all JPEGs but this shot straight out of camera no touch up I got it to where the rotating water fountain is facing me or I guess bladed to me and then again a little closer a little bit of zoom but having it kind of face me you can see the water falling down through there too this one is also unedited these next two are straight out of camera as well and I think I prefer the first composition over the second composition but either way they're both slightly not square if you're using the left edge as your vertical marker they're both slightly off i'd have to crop in ever so slightly with a slight rotation to touch those up a little bit this shot i wanted to go through the bridge with and you've got that kind of drainage that gives you a line right through the bridge but then that trash can was in the way and i was kind of wondering what am i going to do about that trash can so then i rotated the camera 90 degrees took another shot and I, I like this better with Pikes Peak not so close to the edge of the photo. And again, this is just JPEG. These next two are a variation of themselves. So this first one I think I like better. It just seems to maybe be a little more clean, even though it is it's still fairly busy with all the lines and train tracks and the apartment building in the background. All those little lines and, and cross lines vertical and horizontal and then you got the diagonal stairs coming in I think I like this one a little better than this one I was trying to introduce even more lines by getting the the kind of vertical on the left and a yet a different diagonal in that bottom left corner I think that kind of makes it almost uh, not necessarily too busy but almost more like an accident like I didn't mean to bring those elements in on the left and the lower left so I saw a lot of potential for photographs there and so I'd like to get over there at some point when there's better light and the way that faces I think morning would probably be the best way to go. So if you like this video give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down there and as always thanks for watching.